Hey guys, welcome to the Geek Dad, and I just wanted to do my weekly update for what I've been working on. Um, I've actually been pretty busy this week, as you can tell. Um, I think I'll get started with these fellas here. Um, so I've been, uh, a friend of mine is, uh, he's going to start teaching me how to do Kill Team. And this is my first Inquisition, or my first, uh, first kill team I'm working on, and it's uh, an Inquisitorial Warband. Um, I've got a couple of, uh, a couple boxes of, uh, Arbides that I will be, um, adding to them as well, but I wanted to start with these guys. So, none of these have been sealed yet, I still gotta do that. But, uh, overall, um... I've been just loving this project because, you know, I could, each model is its own thing and you can kind of just do what you want with them and practice different colors, kind of like with this guy. And um, I gave him a blue cloak. I am terrible, absolutely terrible at painting blue. And I'm just, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I don't think it turned out too bad. Uh, some nice highlighting on it. Um, don't like the... You can kind of see here, some of the wash got a little too caked up down there, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Then these two are, um, well, this guy is fully a fully 3D printed model from uh, Red Pilgrim. He's the, I don't know, what the Hex, Hex Augury, the Hexery, um, the Hex Agent, the Hobo with a Shotgun, as I like to call him. And uh, pretty happy with how he turned out. See, right there, I got another little splotch of wash that I must have just caked it on just a little too much. Still, not too bad. And then this guy, he was a psyker agent that um, the arms misprinted. Um, and so I added the pistoliers um, bits to his arm, painted him up, and... Truthfully, I'm very happy how he turned out. I really like how he turned out. But I also absolutely love painting red. So I've also gotten started with Fallout um, Wasteland Warfare. Um, I had this box laying around. I don't remember when I bought it, why I bought it. But it's the Brotherhood of Steel Command um, Command box. Um, Citadel Command, that's right. And it's just been, I just think they're going to be a fun little project to work on. And uh, gave me a chance to do a little bit more dry brushing. I obviously still need to, you know, finish up the base and the face, all that jazz, all the details. But, you know, I forgot how much I just enjoyed doing mindless dry brushing. I think that's, who is it? Uh, Paladin... Paladin Cross and Crusader Lions, I think, are the two. Not really sure. I've heard it can do... Um, it's got really, really good solo play. And uh, it was kind of made with that in mind. And I'm really looking forward to trying that. I've also started working on some more Kingdom Death models uh, with the Lonely Lady. Apologies for the background noise. I'm sitting in my front room right now and there's a... Uh, Apparently everybody decides to drive by my house while I'm doing this. Um, yeah, this is the lonely lady. Slowly working on her. Um, just reminds me how much I love doing flesh tones. Just absolutely love it. So I'm going to start working on her and probably work on the tree here pretty soon. So but then, the big guy. Let's see here, Let's, I'm probably going to have to shift this up a little bit. There we go, okay. This guy, I'm really excited to start painting. Oof. Okay, yeah, I've got to change my camera view. There we go. This is Plague Feather Kugath. I printed him. He's, um... I don't I don't know where you can find the file anymore because it was uh, by Emang I'm not really sure how you pronounce it and I was able to download most of his models before 
um, before GW made him take him off of cults. Um, and he was actually a very easy print, with the exception of the chair, because the chair took, jeez, on my Saturn as it took, I want to say it took 16 hours to print. And, I mean, it took up the entire print bed and vertically and horizontally. Um, took a lot of resin, too. And that's even with it all hollowed out. But, I don't know, the detail on this guy, I just, I am so excited to get to, get to painting him. I've always wanted to have a, a Chaos Demons army. And I'm really thinking about um, doing that for Horus Heresy. If I, you know, if I actually ever play it, but, um, I don't know, it just, it, demons are just cool, dude. And you can do so much, you know, modding to it, and you can really, you know, just have weird stuff. And who doesn't like, who, who doesn't like a big, uh, a jolly fat man, you know, throwing up and throwing things out of his belly? So yeah, other than that, I've just been kind of, you know, just slowly chicken away at certain projects and getting my son, slowly teaching my son how to uh, paint minis, and yeah, it's all going, I'd say, pretty damn great. So what about you guys? What have you been, what have you been working on this week? Anything uh, new and exciting? Anything you guys have been really uh, looking forward to getting on the tabletop? Let me know down below, and until next time, everybody, have a great week, and we'll see you next time.